Yes, Cody loves his Terra Shield. Okay, let me show you what I do if he'll cooperate. See, I've got some on my fingers already, but I just put it around their eyes to keep the flies out of their eyes. And they have this spot here on the belly where the flies collect and they can't get to them. So we're going to take care of that just like that. See? No more flies. Now, the other thing that I use Melaleuca for with my horses is um, to support healthy hooves. You notice he's got a chunk missing out of his hoof and the only thing that we can do for that is to wait for it to grow out. But while we wait for it to grow out, it's real important that it does not carry fungus because there's no way to keep it clean. Hold on, Cody. There's no way to keep it clean. We clean it out, but I put Melaleuca on it every day while it's drying out. Yeah, you want to smell that one too, don't you? Yeah, there you go. There's your Melaleuca. No, you can't eat it. So Melaleuca is great for hoof care because it's an antiviral, an antibacterial, and an antifungal. And he is dosing himself with it aromatically right now. No, you can't eat it. Just smell it. Now, you can take it internally, but that would be wonderful if you go to the doctor because you're not feeling well and the doctor says, I'm sorry, it's viral. Well, you do have an alternative now. You can <laughs> take Melaleuca internally and it will support your body while it's trying to fight off that virus that you have. I also have a toe that got stepped on by a horse and so the toenail grows funny now and it is prone to getting fungus under it. So I just keep it healthy by putting Melaleuca on it every day. So hopefully this helps you make the decision about today's BOGO. If you're an outdoors person, you definitely need them. So think about today's BOGO and if I can help you answer any questions, just let me know and we'll say bye to the horsies. They're all ready for breakfast. See y'all later. Bye.